Today we start the day going to a bar for a coffee. <laughs> With a coffee in the tummy, let's continue the journey. Today we're leaving Fréjus, so we're leaving the French Riviera, and we're going to Nîmes, which is famous for its archaeological site. So let's see what the journey brings us. It's one of these days that you enjoy riding. The traffic is fluid. If it wasn't for the roundabouts, I think it's time for lunch. Or if not lunch, a coffee. continue. We are on the route to Avignon. There is an interesting story about Avignon. During the period from 1309 to 1379, seven successive popes resided in Avignon which at the time was within the Kingdom of Arles, part of the Holy Roman Empire. The situation arose from the conflict between the papacy and the French crown, following a conclave to elect the French Clement V as Pope in 1305. Clement refused to move to Rome, and in 1309 he moved his court to the papal enclave at Avignon, where it remained for the next 67 years. After the last French antipope's death in 1378, the Western Schism arose. However, the Schism ended in 1417 at the Council of Constance, now in Germany. As a fun fact, the kingdoms of Castile, Navarre, Aragon, Scotland, France and Sicily recognized the antipope in Avignon and the kingdoms in England, Denmark, Sweden, Poland, Hungary and the Holy Roman Empire and the state of the Teutonic Order still recognized the Pope in Rome. It's a very interesting story, the fact that there were two popes, let's say the real pope and the anti-pope. Province on the bike is such a good experience. You get to see all the vineyards, all the harvesting fields, all the mountains. It's such a good experience. So beautiful. All the roundabouts. It's 4.30 and look at the sun. My goodness. It's lovely traveling like this. This is what I was waiting for. I think we're gonna get to Nîmes without refueling. The last time I refueled was in Italy. So that's... All the French coast without refueling. Not bad. Tomorrow I'm expecting to be in Spain, hopefully. So I'm expecting this trip to end in a couple of days. Let's see how it goes. Now we have to wait for the owners to come and open it for me. It's a little bit chilly today. Hope I don't have to wait for a long time. Right, the door is open, so it's just a matter of taking the stuff from the motorcycle and going inside. After asking two neighbors, I finally found a flat. Small but cozy, you know what I mean? Here I am, finally. So I'm gonna take a rest, relax, you know, work a little bit. So as always, thank you so much for coming along with me and see you tomorrow.